I look nice for HanAndroid.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, today we're going to go ahead and learn how to root the Galaxy Note 4 uh, all the models except for at and and Verizon Note 4, which I don't recommend because they have lock bootloaders. Screw them. Buy T-Mobile Note 4 if you have an at and if you have at and service. You can use at and SIM uh, with T-Mobile Note 4 just fine. 4 GLT, everything works fine. Uh, anyway, that said, this will root any of the Note 4s. This is a slightly different method from the root method I showed you um, a couple weeks back. Now that root method uses Chainfire's uh, CF Auto Root. Uh, to just give you root. This auto, uh, this root method uses a uh, uh, CWM or TORP recovery method, which basically we will install Clockma recovery or TORP recovery onto the phone, and then we're going to go ahead and simply flash super su zip file. Um, the I actually prefer this for this method because it gives you the ability to uh, make a backup ROM, which saves everything on your phone. Um, also, you can restore ROM. Also, you can install custom ROMs. Now, you can do that after rooting with Chainfire's uh, auto root method, but you will have to use Flashify app to actually flash the recovery image. Um, so, if you're going to install custom ROMs, anyways, you might as well follow this root method. And it, again, it works for all Note 4s, uh, Qualcomm, Exynos, uh, uh, T Mobile, Sprint, also the international version, the Canadian version. Korean versions, all those versions. Um, so let's go ahead and do this together. Let's go do this, baby. Ah. All right, first thing you want to do is check out your model number. Uh, if you know what it is, you can go ahead and skip that step, but uh, it is very easy. Just go into settings uh, and go into about device and go look under model number. Uh, mine is a T-Mobile Note 4, so it'll say SMN9110T. Uh, if you have a Sprint, it will be N910P. If you have other models, go ahead and make a note of that model number as we'll need it later. Go ahead and write it down uh, or your, use your photographic memory uh, and remember it. All right, so go, go ahead and remember that. Um, next, what you want to do is go ahead and pull the battery out or you can power off, uh, put it back in. Go ahead and hold down volume down, center home and the power exactly like that in that order. Give it two seconds or so. Let go of all the buttons, hit volume up, and this will put you into what we call Odin download mode, where we can flash uh, custom recoveries. All right, and you can go ahead and put the uh, back cover back in. Go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. Now for this tutorial, I'll be using a Windows 7 64-bit computer. You can use any Windows computer. Uh, for Mac or Linux users, I'll post another guide. Uh, but if you want to do it on your own, there is this tool, free tool called Jodin. Uh, go ahead and Google J-O-D-I-N, and you can use that, which is pretty much the same as uh, Odin. So let's go to the next step. Let's go ahead and go to our computer. All right, next, go ahead and go to galaxynote4root.com. This is my site. Um, go ahead and go to Clockmar Tour Recovery right there. And if you press there and scroll down, you'll have a... Uh, Torp recovery and clock mount recovery or CWM recovery for all the different models. Now, for those of you who don't know what the difference between uh, CWM and Torp recovery is, I do recommend using the Torp recovery. Uh, I think it's more user friendly. And uh, tor uh, cl clock mount recovery currently does not support ADB and recovery. Um, if you don't know that, don't worry about it. Um, so go ahead and download the appropriate Torp recovery or clock mount recovery. Uh, I, I do have a model for T-Mobile, Sprint, Canadian, uh, N910G, and all the Exynos models, including the Korean models. Um, so go ahead and download for that. Now there's two different ones. There's one for IMG and TAR. Uh, go ahead and download the TAR version. So I have T-Mobile Galaxy Note 4, so I'm going to go ahead and download uh, this guy right there. And if you click on it, it will get you to the download page. Um, go ahead and scroll all the way down and if you wait like five seconds, give it another five seconds. Uh, my internet's slow today for some reason. And uh, it will show you a uh, capture to enter. If it doesn't, go ahead and try refreshing it. There we go. Ah. There we go. Um, you should be able to see it down here. All right, there we go. Wait five seconds and go ahead and enter the CAPTCHA and that will download the file. Um, if you don't see the CAPTCHA, wait for a little bit longer. 
there we go so go ahead and type uh, crazy cool and hit the download button here and go ahead and download that will download the file um, and I've already downloaded it for you and you'll see that uh, you have all the files you need um, also you'll need uh, super su uh, which is the actual file that roots your phone and also you need uh, Odin 3 v185 go ahead and download that also uh, and also that the open recovery blah blah dot tar is the file uh, we just downloaded from uh, the site all right go ahead and double click on Odin 3 v185 and go ahead and extract all files and this will give you a folder uh, in your downloads directory called Odin v185 all right go back to your downloads folder go to Odin 3 v185 go ahead and double click on Odin 3 v185 if you get security running uh, just ignore hit run and you'll see something like this uh, if you do see this yellow highlighted uh, com sign with a random com number the com number doesn't matter you're good to go if you don't have this you don't see it that means you don't have the proper Samsung USB drivers simply go ahead and download it I'll have a link to it on my site um, go ahead and double click on the USB driver file it will install it for you and go ahead and unplug the USB and plug it back into your phone and you should be able to see this if you still don't see it try rebooting your computer if you still don't see it try using a different USB cable port and do not use a USB 3.0 hub all right uh, once you are ready to go go ahead and hit the PDA button go to your downloads and go ahead and find the file you downloaded earlier this is the Torb recovery for T-Mobile as you can see uh, and go ahead and hit open and hit start and this will flash the uh, Torb recovery onto your T-Mobile Note 4 and give it another second or two and it will say reset pass all right and your phone will reboot and uh, we'll be back after it reboots all right there may be a point where it gets stuck uh, it doesn't even get to this point then again you can go ahead and unplug the USB try another USB port again don't use a USB hub um, that usually interferes with it all right once your phone has rebooted we're gonna go ahead and copy this file so go back to your downloads folder go ahead and um, copy the update super su blah blah dot zip do a copy all right and I'm gonna just wait till my note 4 shows up here all right now showed up so go ahead and go to your note 4 um, recommend copying it onto your phone it's a small file and I do recommend copying it to your download folder all right and do right click paste and that will copy over all right then let me go ahead and switch the camera angle all right next steps are pretty easy um, you can do all of it on your phone go ahead and power off uh, your phone and we're gonna go ahead and hold down the volume up center home and the power button and we're gonna go into the clock from our recovery or the tour recovery sorry and uh, flash the super su if you flashed a uh, clock my recovery you'll see clock my recovery instead volume up center home and the power button for about three seconds until you see recovery booting at the top left uh, don't worry about recovery is not SC Android enforcing just ignore it some people keep telling me what's wrong with my phone there's nothing wrong with it. that's normal all right once you're in tour recovery uh, it is very simple to do um, go ahead and go to install and go ahead and find the file uh, that you download you copied over earlier go download uh, which is the update super su blah blah dot zip and go ahead and swipe to confirm and this will flash the super su um, rooting files go ahead and reboot system and that's pretty much it now if you're using uh, clockma recovery the menus are slightly different just go ahead and choose install from SD card instead of install uh, and then go ahead and find the super su otherwise the steps are exactly identical and once you reboot you should have a new app called super su now we're not done yet okay because Samsung likes to put this thing called Knox uh, security thing that really is annoying uh, it's useless uh, piece of garbage you don't need it and we need to get rid of it in order to uh, have it so it doesn't interfere with our full root so go ahead and open up super su and this will actually uh, do it automatically oh, if it doesn't ask you you're good to go I'm not sure why it didn't ask me uh, but it should ask you to uh, disable Knox 
if if your Nox isn't disabled, I think it's because I already rooted a bunch of times before making this video. Uh, if it asks you to knock, uh, disable Nox, say yes. And it should take about a couple seconds. If it doesn't work the first time, do not panic. Go ahead and reboot your phone, open up SuperSU again, and try to disable Nox again. And it should work the second time. And also, it might ask you to update the binaries. Um, you know, it's optional, but uh, I highly recommend you do it. Go ahead and op say yes, and also choose uh, the normal method. And if that hangs, go ahead and reboot, and uh, it should work the second time. Uh, that's about it, and you should have a full root. And uh, if you want to check that you have full root, go ahead and download a rooted app. I do recommend Titanium Backup app and Boom Shakalaka. You should get super user request. Make sure you hit grant. Uh, you should have full root on your Note 4. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now, with Clockma Recovery or Torbury installed, um, you will not get OTA updates. The best way to get OTA updates uh, is by flashing a uh, rooted stock ROM. They always come out a couple days after, so don't panic. Uh, I always post them on my site, galaxynote4root.com, so check there uh, for, the, for the newer OTA updates. Uh, because sometimes Samsung likes to block it, so that's why I don't recommend flashing the OTA anyways. Um, just go ahead and flash the rooted version, that way you can keep root all your apps uh, and uh, your phone will be running humming uh, very nicely. And that's about it. That's how you root uh, Note 4 using the CWM twerp root method. And thanks guys for watching this video. As you can see, you can easily root your Note 4 um, now, there may be sometimes uh, some of the things that can go wrong, so let me go ahead and point out some of those things. Uh, when you're running Odin, it might fail or get stuck. Like I said in the video, um, go ahead and use a different USB cable or port, and also don't use the USB uh, hub. Also, USB 3.0 hubs are horrible. I actually have one right here. Uh, if I use USB 3.0 hub, Odin will get stuck. So just connect it directly to your PC uh, which I've got here. And if you don't have a PC uh, for Mac, you can go ahead and install this thing called uh, VMware and install Windows on top of it. Um, or also you can use this open source tool called Joden by Adam Utler, uh, XDA user. And uh, that is also very good. I'll have a tutorial on that real soon. I actually have a old Mac that my friend gave me uh, that I was gonna trash and stuff. But, uh, since uh, I do need to make tutorials for those of you with a Mac, I'll have a tutorial for that pretty soon. Um, also, another uh, frequently asked question is uh, when you install the Clock Remote Recovery or Tor Recovery, um, your phone might uh, reboot and overwrite the Clock Remote Recovery or Tor Recovery. Uh, how to fix that? Very easy. Just rerun Odin, and when it says pass, when your phone reboots, immediately take the battery out all right and then put it back in and immediately do the buttons the volume up center home and the power and this will boot you straight into uh, torp recovery or clock mount recovery um, so you'll have the access and what you can do is uh, torp recovery or clock mount recovery will disable that feature on your phone now, it doesn't happen on all the phones some some phones it does when you reboot system it will ask you uh, to disable uh, recovery overwrite so that might happen to some of you other than that um, everything is straightforward if you have trouble with the USB um, just go ahead and try another computer uh, go ahead and borrow your mom's computer your sister's computer your husband's your wife's uh, whatever go steal one if you want no I'm just kidding don't steal one uh, but you'll be able to get root on your note 4 so that's pretty much it and if you want to Learn more about Note 4 stuff. Don't forget to check out my site, galaxynote4root.com. I have a big box up there where you can sign up for my email list. Um, this is strictly for Note 4 users, uh, so you can receive uh, ROM of the Week. Uh, whenever new things come out, I'll post it there. Um, so definitely sign up if you're interested. And of course, if you like, uh, uh, make sure you like this channel or this video and this channel if you want. Uh, as I post a ton of Android stuff like daily uh, gadgets, I'll also be going to CS 2015. I'll have a bunch of all the new stuff that's coming out next year. I'll have it in January, the first week of January. So definitely subscribe for all that cool stuff. And uh, as always, uh, stay 